People in another Chesapeake neighborhood may soon have a choice if they want to live in an area where environmental issues are a concern. Problems are no stranger to people in South Hill. That's where a fertilizer tank collapsed in 2008, and just two months ago, thousands of gallons of jet fuel spilled. Not a very good place to live, right? Well, that depends on who you talk to. Then your side's Matt Gregory is following up on the city's plan to give residents the chance to move out. Matt? And Tom, just on the other side of this home over here, you can see the signs of industry. That's how close these people live to industrial activity. It's like a neighborhood island in a sea of industry. You look at South Hill and Chesapeake, and the most sound you'll hear comes from the nearby highway and industrial traffic. Still, as the residential size shrinks, families like Michael Wilson's still want to call it home. I couldn't sleep at night because my wife got on her mind of what we're going to do. We're going to leave or not. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I love it. His wife's sentiments echoed by others in the area, those who've lived through several fertilizer spills and one recent jet fuel spill. I was hoping to get my little piece of the American dream right there, but now it's like I'm afraid that if I continue to stay there, it might cut me short. It might cut my children's life short. We might not get to live that dream. Tuesday night, the Chesapeake City Council voted to help with those concerns. This is an opportunity, if they so choose, where they can go and we'll work with them in order to purchase their uh, property. The city has plans to develop a program to buy the homes of those who want to move. It's an answer to some residents' prayers, but at what cost? What value will they get for their homes? Is it the appraisal or the assessed value? Each situation may be a little bit differently. We've not designed the program yet, so therefore we don't have the criteria. But our mission is to be able to work with people who are willing sellers, and so we want to be able to do that. A work in progress, a way out for some residents, but back at Michael Wilson's home, it's a decision he doesn't want to make. We don't mind no matter the business, but we look out for one another, but I still say those ones who want to leave, let them leave. I love it here. I love it. Uh, I couldn't even hardly sleep last night thinking about it. You heard the city manager say it there. They're trying to figure out what kind of strategy to develop to buy these homes. So, so far, we asked the city manager and the city government what will they be paying, but all we've heard so far is it'll be fair market value. So, we'll continue to follow the story to see what the city plans to do in order to reimburse these folks to move them out of here. In South Hill, Chesapeake, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.